All right. So here we go. Um, again, I'm Brent Neighbors. I'm your teacher for the next four weeks. I will also be teaching the six week class that will start in June, probably towards the end of June, right after this class is over. So if you get into this class and you're kind of swimming about halfway through, um, it's I can easily get you in. I can't. It's hard. We can use the same textbooks and everything and move you into the six week. But what would happen? Not that it's going to happen. But I have one or two students every once in a while. They have something come up. I already have a student said that they might have to be um, on jury duty this time. So there are possibilities for you. I do teach. I will teach the same class in the fall online and face to face. And we can go from there. Um, the one of the first things I'm going to cover, um, which I think is a big, big, big deal. Um, I'm, I'm taking this orientation just a little different than I usually do. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And there it is. Share screen. And I'm going to share to um, this right here. And on your screens, you see my computer screen. Um, I'm going to take it into the student view now. I'm going to click right here, and you'll see it change a little bit. Um, this is what you see. The software that you need, basically, you have to go to the bookstore. Reporting okay. in progress. Oh. oh. The bookstore. The bookstore. Is right here. And if you have not been there before, um, this is where we get our books. So you just basically it's it's in the syllabus. It's right there. You can shop for your textbooks. Um, summer. This tends to be one of the biggest problems is students trying to locate textbooks for this class. Um, and I believe it's this one. Find the material. OK, there it is. And it's kind of, it's it's strange. I've worked with the textbook company so that you guys get the best price humanly possible on this. It's two pieces of software. It's SimNet and Connect. A lot of students will go out and they go, oh, I can get Connect for cheap. Well, no, it doesn't have SimNet. And what usually happens is you buy it at a certain price and we get to all the, where the other software program starts to be having, this web-based software has to be used you got to go out and pay another twice as much money for that software. So I'm guaranteeing you this is the, what this is the cheapest place to buy. Second of all, you can buy it online or you can go in. I would do this sooner, very soon. All you're getting is a packet. It's a little piece of paper and inside there's two cards. And on the back, there are little scratch ops that have codes. Here's what you can do. You can order it online and then you can call and say, hey, I'm ordering this. And I need it sent to me because I can't get physically get into the location. But could you please scratch off and tell me what the codes are by my email? And they'll send it to your district email. A lot of students say, well, I use my Google. No, no, no. They're going to send. They'll scratch it off, tell you your codes, type it in, and send it to you. And also mail you those codes. So you can get it by email quicker. There's a lot of ways to get around it. You can drive to the campus, everything. So do not go and buy software online from somebody okay it's not the same software this is a package deal there's two it's through mcgraw hill but there's two online softwares that we use and they're digital textbooks so i hope i stress that enough can you see the the can you see the uh the bookstore website just let me shake your head okay good i'm making sure that i can see it okay that is number one problem number two problem is right here getting the software. Can you see this email browser that's up? Good. Up here in the corner, there's like, uh, I guess that's uh, dots, you can call it. They're app launchers, okay? Everybody has it, but this is your district email account. So when you log in, you just click right here. Mine says staff, yours says Outlook. You go right in and you click this little button right here. Do not stop. Do not do anything. Go straight out. You see where it says Microsoft 365? You click on it. You are not done yet. Let it load, let it load, let it load, let it load. It's going to take a while. It's still going to take a while. It's going to take a while. They do this on purpose. And all of a sudden, right over here, there's a thing that says install apps. Do you see that? Okay, so I click on it. You go all the way down, not the first one, the second one, where it says other install options. So you click on it. And we're not done once it even loads. 
I'm going in as Brent Neighbors. Yes, we're going in. So I'm going, now we have a whole bunch of choices. You make one choice only. You go down here, it says view apps and devices. And this will be recorded and sent out to you. And do you see how all the applications are listed? What I'm really after is this access, okay? And then you just hit install. And that's all you have to do. And it's free as long as you're a college student, okay? So those are the two things, the textbooks and getting Microsoft Office for free, okay? So there you go. Um, now I'm gonna go back in to the class website and I'm gonna go to the syllabus. And I'm gonna assume that you've already read the syllabus because you, your quiz is due tonight. So I'm not gonna bore you and go step-by-step step through the syllabus. But what I do want you to know is um, there's a thing called Remind right here. And it's just an app that comes to your phone and if you send a message to this to 81010 and the message is at IS15 online, you will receive all my messages, okay? And if you want to reply to those, it only comes to me. Um, so when I'm walking around, I do not check my Canvas email all the time, but you know, with this four weeks, I'm probably every day at a certain time. Um, it all depends how my schedule works out, but I'm carrying around this... Uh, Remind app and I get notifications. Now, don't tech, don't use your remind app on me at like 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I ain't not going to respond. And if you wake me up, I'll be grouchy. Um, so you can do it at five in the morning because <laughs> I'm up with the chickens. Okay. So that's just something to look for. Look for me. There's your syllabus. Again, when you go in, I'm going to have videos on all how to do these. Actually, they're on the website already. How to use your McGraw-Hill Connect and SimNet. That should go out today. Everything in the class is found under modules. Okay. And it kind of tells you, you know, I have my, there's a video on how to use Connect, how to use um, SimNet, um, what's due. You can always see at the bottom when it's really due. I say I'd like it due by a certain date. And the calendar is when it really is due. Um, but as you scroll down, you will see that I have instructional videos for you. These videos are going to cover everything in Excel, Access, and PowerPoint that are in SimNet. There are written instructions. There are instructions. There are great, there are great instructions, instructions, instructions in SimNet. In SimNet. Follow those. Follow and if you get stuck, you can always go to a video and say, okay, what, did, what happened here? And I will send out a video on, on Connect and on SimNet and go over it. But I want everybody to know that I have, for you, already made step-by-step -step or SimNet, and I've done my lectures. Every one of my lectures is available for you. I even have lecture notes that you don't have to turn in. So you can watch my video. You can look at the notes. And the notes kind of, from my in-class, they like this. I have little spaces that go with the notes, and so you just kind of fill in keeps you focused, but you don't have to turn them in. It is for your use, okay? Every lecture is done. That is for Connect. That's the lecture part. SimNet and Connect both have lectures that I produced already done, okay? Now, the next most important, well, it probably could have moved to the forefront a little more, but is the Canvas calendar. Okay, so when I click on Canvas Calendar, can I do it as a student mode? Okay, here we go. As you see here, your lectures are pretty much set up. Your discussions are done. What is due on the, Chapter 8? I know it's a Saturday, but you don't have to do it that day. You can work ahead. Almost everything is open. Work ahead. I have a student that is already through uh, the midterm, okay? Um, chapter five. Now, here's the thing I'm doing. I usually spread out, you know, the Word and Excel, the yeah, Windows. I usually I spread that out spread throughout out this throughout week, this but week. students like to work on it independently. So the really, right before the midterm that we have, I'm having all of your Excel, your Word, um, and the Microsoft Office training and projects do. Now, that does not mean start it on the second. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, you're going to get hit by a bus. 
you should pace yourself. This week and this weekend, I would get the Windows and the Word almost complete. Windows can be done real quick. It's just the training. And then you have the training in Win Word and then the four projects. Okay. Get that done. So in the middle of the week, all you have to do is Excel. Excel gets a lot harder, folks. If you've not used Excel, it's it's a lot harder than Word. Everybody's like, oh, this is an easy class. All we do is copy and paste. Well, maybe not. Word, it's pretty basic, but Excel gets hard. And that's what they're going to, that's what you're going to use in the business world is Excel. Okay. Um, and as you see here, as I move to the next month, everything is done for you. It's told here. What, when is this due, Mr. Neighbors? Your finals on the 16th. All these are done. Okay. So I tried to break up the SimNet into two parts, one due on the second and one due on the 16th. But please, 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 please do not procrastinate on that. It will bite you because usually I spread it out, but we'll talk about that. You've got your discussion questions all ready to go. There are a couple extra credit things that come out for you. Um, like tomorrow, you probably already received some emails about a quiz in Canvas from Remind with the password. I do that to make sure you're in. That's an easy 10 points. Do it. Okay. And then there'll be another one. Um, it's right here listed on the second. That's another 10 points just to make sure that you're still there. You'll get the quiz reminder in a remind. You'll go into Canvas. You'll go in there on the quiz and modules, and you'll take the remind too. That's just to make sure you're still using it and not doing it just for the points. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get out, stop my share. I got to get out of student mode here. Leave student mode. Now you see me. Um, I'm assuming right now that everybody has read the syllabus or taken the syllabus uh, quiz in Canvas. Uh, the only thing you're trying to do is probably get the textbook up and running or the software up and running. In, and by the way, you can do, you don't have to use one computer. Everything's built into Canvas. And it's web-based, so in SimNet and Connect, you can go to anybody's computer that you want to. Again, probably this afternoon, I'm going to be sending out videos to show you how to start in Connect and how to start in SimNet. SimNet tends to be, it's different. So it's not hard, though. Questions from you? Can't be that easy. Come on now. You got to turn your mic on if you want to say something. Just click the speaker on. Carolina. Okay, Johnny, you nothing? Oh, there you are. Okay. You have a question? I can't hear you. Anybody else hear her? I don't know if your speaker is on. It says it's on. Anybody else? Can you hear Carolina? No. no no. Okay. I hear Johnny. So it's something with the, did something with the speaker on the computer or something. Or her headpiece. Okay. Hello. Um, next to the mic, Caroline, you, there's a little Chevron. You can click on it and you can direct what, what mic you're using on your computer. And maybe you're on the wrong mic. She's probably connected to her uh, computer's personal mic instead of her headphones. Does her headphones have a mic? Uh, if it's an Apple Wear, it usually has like a built-in mic. Yeah, it does. So right down at the bottom where it says, that um, has the little picture, Caroline, of, of the, has a picture of the mic, microphone in Zoom. And if you click on that, the little Chevron to the, just to the right of it, you can select, it says select a microphone. Which one is, is, is your selected, right? And maybe your volume needs to be up on that. So I don't know. I don't still don't hear you. Well, I don't know what I can do. So I'll tell you what, Caroline, you can give me a call in the syllabus is my phone number. Give me about 10 minutes to close this up and get it all set. And we can answer your, I can answer your call. Okay. Anybody else have any questions before we stop? Um, I do have a question. I don't know if yes. you can hear me. So, I can hear you. 
when it comes to the assignments on um i forgot it's called canvas simnet connect um i think it's simnet yes ma'am it's a whole bunch of them at one time yeah so it has like one through 50 correct that is it that one um one through 50 what do you mean by that explain uh let me see what it's called it's through the textbook i believe is it called smart book uh smart? yeah the connect it's through That's connect. The connect yes so i just want to like clarify to make sure so i'm supposed to be doing one or the yeah the one through 50 correct throughout the summer semester or the you four should always there is for every chapter in connect there is a learn smart or smart book whatever there they change it every once in a while for every chapter so you do that and then you do the quiz and you can lecture you can look at my lectures also if you'd like to but you get 15 points which tends to be a lot if you add it all up for each of the learn smarts in connect and i don't know what the one through 50 is i'm a little confused on that um i don't know if i can share my screen because i am using my macbook as of right now my macbook okay. um maybe i can send you an email showing send me a you. screenshot in through canvas email and i'll look at it but um, if you saw what i was doing that's exactly what you should be doing okay because i've seen that too i've seen those also as well like um through the calendar of those assignments and i've done those as well but then i also see, seen that like one through 50 as well i'm going to share my screen again okay and maybe we can alleviate some of the stuff here let me see google calendar share y'all can see me right see my screen good yes. All right, I'm going to go back into the course. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to show you what Connect looks like inside. Now, I'm going to, when mine comes up, it's going to come up as an instructor. So give me a second to change it to your student view, okay? Um, student view, here it comes. This is what yours looks like. And every chapter has in it a smart book and a quiz a smart book and a quiz. Yes, you should do these smart books because they're just showing you and asking you questions about the, the book um, and the chapter that we're studying. And it greatly helps you be successful on this test. Okay, so that right there is um, connect. Now, if we were to go inside and look at SimNet, it's a little different. Okay, I'm gonna click on a button and it's gonna take me into the admin area. And I want to go to the student view. This is what it looks like for the students real quick. You come in, maybe make sure I'm in the right class. So hold on. Uh, let me be in this one. All right. You can change the way this looks by clicking on the list. Some people like the list. Some people like the tiles. It doesn't matter. So when you come into Windows, you have one item. And it takes you in, and it's kind of like a simulation. So if we were to go back to the home here, and we go into Word, you'll see we have training and then you have projects. And I have videos for each one of those in modules. And when I click on them, you, you see there's a start file in projects. See, it says projects. There's a start file that you'll download and you'll follow these directions. And you go right through it and it asks you to do things. And at the end, you just upload it. Okay? Okay. So here I go. I'm gonna go back to course manager. I'm going to get out and I'm going to remove the share. Now, did that help you? Yes, I was just a little confused because it did bring up that like one through 50 slide, I believe in chapter two. I don't know if it was for chapter two or not. Um, I was. And there were questions. Yeah, those are the questions you have yeah. to go through. Yeah. OK, That's so for important. for those, is that um, for each chapter? Yes, ma'am. Some they're not always fifty. Some are less. Okay, and then now, all those have to be completed, correct? Uh, well, for fifteen points. Okay. You don't have to do it in one sitting. You can do a little bit, walk away, come back. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's multiple shots. Okay. The quiz is one shot. You log into the quiz, you get one attempt. Now, yes. but for those learn those learn smarts and smart book, it's um, you can start do a little bit. Uh, log off, log back on, do a little bit. Same with SimNet, okay? 
Uh, one thing I need to put out before we sign off is if you are using a Mac, you want to be using Google Chrome to interface with um, SimNet and also with Connect because there are some errors that appear when you use Safari on a Mac. So download Chrome, I'm not saying it's the best. I don't, you know, it's Google Chrome, it's the browser. Use that for this course and then you never have to use it again. It's not, I'm not being endorsed. I'm not being paid to say that. It's just, it works a lot better and there'll be things you won't be able to do and you'll be texting me and I'll say, I, you'll send me a screenshot. Somebody will send me a screenshot. So you're on a Mac. First thing I look at is, are you using Safari? If you're using Safari, first thing I'll say is download Chrome. So there we go. That's for everybody. What are you using, Kristen? Are you using Chrome? Um, I'm actually using the school's computer. I'm just on my MacBook Air as of right now. Okay. But I've been using that one for um, my assignments. Clovis Community School or another school? Uh, Clovis Community. Okay. Make sure there's access on that. Or you okay. can do what I do because sometimes they stop you, but we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Other questions before I sign off and wish you. Yeah. Go ahead, Johnny. I have a, a ThinkPad from the school too, from Clovis Community. Um, is, do I need to download? I have Edge on here, Microsoft Edge, I think. Does so, it, not, it should have Chrome on there. Uh, it does. <clears throat> should, should I download it? See if they'll let you, if not, run to the college and have them download it for you. I don't know why it wouldn't be on there. Yeah. Because uh, it comes installed most of the time. So that's for uh, all apps. It would be under all apps. You can just type in that little text box at the bottom on your ta taskbar. Just type in Chrome. Chrome. If not, you can go to Google and you can go to Edge, open it up, type in Google Chrome. It'll bring it to you. And of course, Edge is going to say, do not download this. This could have some viruses. And just go past it and all install right. it. It's all these tech wars that are happening. So, all right. I hope all is well. Uh, yes, downloading. Uh, so use that for um, for everything? I would use it. It tends to have less bugs, just so you all know. Okay. Um, Microsoft Edge, they're trying to come back, but since, since, well, personal opinion, once they lost Explorer and it went out of hand, Internet Explorer, they're just trying to gain traction again. I don't think it will. Okay. All Thanks. right. Caroline, give me about 10 minutes to wrap up here, and then I will give me a call, okay? All righty. Any other questions before I leave? You guys have a great summer. Um, keep in touch. We'll be emailing back and forth. Thank you for taking my class. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Before